comfortable um, out in the elements. So, yeah, uh, clothing, everything seems good on that. Everyone got the gist of you know how to dress down, how to layer down, uh, taking clothes on and off as you get active. Uh, next thing is going to be, oh, yeah, yeah. He was talking about wool socks the other day. Yeah, yeah, wool socks I the way to go. Wool socks, because I don't like. I know they're fucking itchy as hell. They're, they're not too so, itchy. For me, like I have the only experience in the wool blankets. Yeah. Itchy as fuck, and I won't touch them. My feet sweat so fucking bad all the time. Like they're sweaty already right now. So <laughs> if you have regular army socks. Yeah. In the middle of fucking, it's like 12 degrees now. Yeah. So so cotton cotton, so, cotton socks. Uh, if if I took those wet socks yeah. and I hung them on a tree and I let them out for a few hours, uh -huh. you could literally you'd just be sitting there like this. Yeah. If there's enough water moisture, it's going to freeze solid. So wool socks, um, you know, wool material in general, 100% wool. I think it, uh, it's 70 or 80% of its insulative uh, factor is retained in itself, even when soaking wet. That means even if you're completely, your, your feet are sweaty as hell, yeah. your feet are still going to be warm because it's still holding an insulation factor. That's why I never go out without some wool socks on in the wintertime because I had cotton socks, my feet got extra cold, they started sweating, the socks themselves, it was just miserable, I was changing them out more. Wool socks will last you longer, they're gonna dry off faster, um, you know, if you put them next to the fire or something like that. So yeah, wool socks, uh, I recommend them, you know, it's, it's personal preference, this is little, little nitpicky things I can sit here and tell you, but it's what you have, what you're gonna use, and what you're gonna train with. Yeah.